afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, it's already so afternoon. Wow. What can you tease us about what's coming up in the next episode? I'm going to end this. Well, um, <laughs> next episode, there's a lot of Sizzy moments. Simon helps out Izzy on a task. Okay. And there's going to be a new member of the Shadow Hunters. There's a new Shadow Hunter. I mean, he's always been a Shadow Hunter, but he's like officially going to train. Not train, be in battle. Um, we can say that, um, as with our show, things are going to get worse before they get better. We can say these next four episodes are a whirlwind of intensity and a lot of, a lot of stuff goes down. And we can say that um, you're going to see the whole shadow world go through a lot. And we've already put a lot this season. Yes. How has that been playing that aspect of where it's more internal than having to worry about fight scenes as much? I, don't know, I think it's helped us learn more. Uh, about ourselves and about about the world. It's, it's kind of cool. Like looking in, you get a better vision of looking out, a better understanding. Um, and I felt like that's happened. I mean, Simon's gone through a lot with himself. He's, we saw recently he discovered that the, the vampire monster that's in him still is very active, whether or not he, he whether he chose to ignore it. And so now it's something. I love those things, by the way. They were so cool. My favorite. And I remember I was reading the episode and I was like, I don't really like. Yeah. And then I saw the episode yesterday and I was like, I mean, not yesterday, last week, mm. not this one, the other one. It was so good. I love those scenes. Thank you. Yeah, it was just, it's it just was cool. so sexy. Like, I didn't expect like the show to do like that kind of stuff. No, yeah. It's good. I mean, it, yeah, it really uh, pushes us as actors to really have to work with that and to go in. I mean, all of Izzy's journey this season has been an immense thing, seeing this like strong person fall and then kind of build herself back up. That's like a really cool journey to see and that, that's a true hero's journey, to have an obstacle, be facing an obstacle and then have to overcome it. See, I'm a hero. <laughs> you are. Absolutely. I think for now, I think she's good. She's just building herself up and I don't think we're going to see any more of that. Yeah, I'm not sure. You never know what's going to happen, but I don't think so. I think it's over now. There's a lot of busy moments. In the next episode, yeah. are, like there's a few ones you see that, but the cool yeah. thing is, just like any great relationship, they build a foundation first, and I think that's where Sissy is right now. It's building this foundation of friendship and, and help and trust, and then maybe that'll be the good starting blocks for when it eventually really dives in. Maybe, maybe. So what's happening with Simon's love life? I think he wants to take a back burner for that right now. I mean, he was, he was really crushed, and he lost a lot of trust. You've been with, like, how many girls? Like... Well, it, it's just Simon's very open, very accepting person, and uh, when that, when, okay, when that person. Okay, I didn't want to call it that. Okay. Well, I mean, it's just it's just. Poor well, Simon. Poor well, I mean, he, now he's in a place where he's like, wow, this really. He knows the true pain of heartbreak. I think now, like what it really feels like, especially when you have to let go of someone that you didn't want to let go of for their benefit. So, That's do you think Simon's gonna get back together? No. Simon knows. Simon. Simon knows. That's not his place. But how about the friendship? The friendship is, remember, in the last episode, he said it. He was like, I made a word, and Simon's a man of his word, but he needs time. And in that time, I'm interested to see what he starts to cling to, how he starts to discover himself, and how he's, where he starts to find that? people that, uh, where he starts to find people that really um, can connect with him on a level that maybe Clary couldn't. And I think that's where we find maybe where Maya starts to kind of sit as a downworlder who's had her own versions of heartbreak, and they have a spark of geekiness together. And I think they find comfort in each other. But both of them, I think, are very hesitant to jump into anything. So we'll see. But as with anything, with relationships, you sure, I'll probably know. You never really know. It kind of just happens all the time. You're like, oh, this is a thing now. So we'll see. <laughs> I know we could say for both of us, it's a dream come true. I mean, Emerald has a story where she went to LA with nothing and was ready to go and then got the show. And then I had the story where it was like, it was the dream, and then it's kind of happening. So for us to be able to travel around the world and do this has been nothing shy of a dream for me. I mean, the show's amazing. The, the, the fans love it, and we love the fans. And I don't think we can ask for a better group of people that support us and they want the best for us. 
and the best for the show. So. And with anything you do, we love seeing the passion that our fans show. Our Brazilian fans are very passionate. And it, it's cool to see that, to see that there are people that care about what we do as much as we do, if not more, almost. Uh, and that's that's always inspiring and helps you work that much harder. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I ask you, like, how has it how's it been working like with Will Tudor? Because I, I love him. I love him being on the show. He's put, like, a really different dynamic yeah. on it. I love him too, you know, like when you work with someone on set, sometimes you, know, you, you obviously feel the connection but then seeing it on camera and he has, you know, he's really blown me away. Yeah. He's so good. There's an awesome scene that I get to do with him in 2019. So I can't wait. I just did ADR for that scene and it's going to be sick. So I, I, I'm excited to see... Nothing. I'm excited to, I'll tell you later, I'm excited to see like what he's gonna bring, bring, uh, what else, you know, they're gonna do with this character and how his journey, his, you know, his journey is gonna grow throughout the Whenever we have a new actor come on set, it's always a little, especially someone with that's playing a role that's such a big part of our story, it's always weird, we already have a vibe. So it's like, are you gonna fit with our vibe? Is it gonna be a little weird? No, he just dove right in. Just like pretty much everyone they've cast. I mean, Alicia slid right in and was able to, she bonded with us immediately. I mean, uh, Jade plays Meliorn, same thing. And then Will was able to fit right in and bring a new element too. Um, I think a lot because of the character and then also because of his process as an actor and his, uh, his true understanding and love of the craft is something that I, I, I haven't gotten to work with him, but you see, and it's like a, it's been really cool to see someone who has that admiration for the craft and, and dive into scenes and dive into and ask questions. And it, it makes you kind of, uh, having that new presence kind of makes you a little bit of a better actor. Like, oh wow, I, I never thought of it this way. I never looked at things that way. Wow, we tried doing it. We looked through his window. So it's been cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.